10 Simple Concepts to Build a Strong Aura Before we get started, for positive karma go ahead and smash the like and subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you now on with the video. Everything in this universe comprises energy, including us. This energy field in human beings is known as one's aura. An aura reflects your state of consciousness from one moment to another. It is also an expression of all your experiences throughout your lifetimes. The qualities of your aura are formed from those countless experiences and patterns that give your aura its distinctive character. Your aura is not frozen, rather it keeps on changing every moment, sometimes strong and positive, other times weak or toxic. Just like our body, our aura has a health index. Having a strong and positive aura regulates both health and wealth. We start attracting relevant circumstances into our lives when our vibrations or energy is high. Boosting your aura or building a strong aura allows you to be more confident and productive. Especially when you have to deal with a lot of people or circumstances, both good or bad, in one way or another. If you're feeling drained, overwhelmed, stressed, and motivated, and pissed off, it might be the right time to boost your aura. Let us look at the factors by which we can build a strong aura and brighten it further to bring a positive shift in our lives. 1. Think wisely. Our thoughts are very high energy forms, which play a crucial role in creating our world. Thoughts can create success or failure, happiness or despair, and opportunities or obstacles. So, an amazing way to boost your aura is to control and select your thoughts with intention. Surround yourself with optimistic energies and optimistic thoughts. Such thoughts release feel-good hormones in your body. And when you feel good, you act good and can make wise decisions regarding anything. Hence, always pay attention to what you are thinking. 2. People's or and you. As you become more aware of your energy levels, you also start noticing the aura of other people present in your surroundings. You might have noticed a high level of energy in some people, because of which you always find them captivating. Someone's smile, or a single statement, or a single deed is enough to uplift you, while there are others who will always bring you down. I often call them energy vampires. Learn to differentiate between these two types of people. Walk away from the low energy vibes or people. If those are your at most close ones or relatives, be aware of it and try to handle them by ignoring their low vibes. You have only two options left for such close ones. Either influence them with your strong and healthy aura or get influenced by them with their weak and toxic aura. Also read, how to deal with toxic people. 3. Do the tasks you love regularly. Do at least one activity throughout your day that gives you immense happiness and energizes you just to think about it. It may be playing with your pet or listening to your favorite songs or cooking or dancing. That enthusiasm increases your energy suddenly. This is also the easiest way you can think of to increase your energy. I don't claim to be an expert on this subject, but I do know that. Creating some kind of excitement in your life can be very helpful in boosting your aura. Personally, this method always works for me. 4. Enjoy the process. Many of us are too rushed to appreciate the little blessings of life. Too confused to be simple, too worried to be happy, and too afraid of being judged. Learn to trust the process and enjoy life, rather than just overthinking. Live your life to the fullest, even if you are used to screwing your life most of the time. 5. Healthy Lifestyle A balanced diet, proper sleep, regular and optimum exercise, and being dehydrated are the backbones of adopting a healthy lifestyle. You can never feel energetic and lively if you skip any of these steps on a regular note. 6. Your Environment Our environment influences our well-being and affects our genetic health. The place where you live should be peaceful and encouraging. Try to avoid places that make you feel uncomfortable. Choose a healthy place to live and work. Even at work, if you are uncomfortable with your environment, try to change it according to your comfort. 7. Observing nature. 
Spending some time with nature helps to maintain both your spiritual as well as emotional health. Not only this, it works as an antidote for your stress. And when you are stress-free, naturally you will feel refreshed and happier. 8. Learn to let go. At present, you might be thinking that you are the worst loser on this earth. But you need to know that this is not the end of the world. Your friends must have admired you for a particular skill or accomplishment. You must be good at something like music, dance, computer work, making meme, etc. The list goes on and on. There has to be something. Just focus on strengthening them and let go of the things which are beyond your control. 9. The Precious Me Time Find something that makes you feel proud of yourself. Think about it in your free time, or rather I should say the me time. Use it for your self-improvement. 10. Unplugging to recharge. In this world of digitalization, where 70% of our time is just screen time, feeling sluggish is the new normal. As a result of this, we are always prone to fatigue, disconnecting with technology or taking breaks from the screen. Time to time can help you recharge yourself, physically and mentally. Conclusion All of life's contributions need energy. You cannot contribute much at all if you don't have the required energy. The stronger, more influencing, and more dynamic your aura is. The more robust, more influencing, and more dynamic your contribution to life would possibly be. So, try to keep your aura always strong. When you boost your aura, that's when your life automatically begins to bloom. Good luck!